Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. One of the things that SharePoint is not really good at is illustrating numbers and illustrating you know, things that, that you would usually do in Excel. And of course, you can export the information to Excel. I've shown that in other demos and you can use Excel to visualize the data. And um, that's one way of doing it. And I strongly recommend that. And there are some third party apps also that can do this for you. But I'm gonna show you some stuff that you can do without Excel and without any third party apps. Say that the, the information that we want to illustrate here is how many people are in each department. The easiest way of doing that is, of course, to modify the default view here. I have a bunch of consultants, as you see, and just do a, a total here. Just do a count on the last name, right? It's always going to be visible. So we have a count here, and that shows 272, that's fine. And now I can just go in and filter on my IT staff. I'll see I have 50 IT staff. Filter on my sales and then I get the, the 222 there. Okay, so that's one way of doing it that will satisfy that need. Another way is of course to create a special view for this and use a um, grouped view. Call that per department. And scroll down and find the Group by, select department there, Contoso department, and then combine that with the total on um, the last name. And there you see they have the IT 50, sales 222. If you want to have it all in one view, remember that each view is actually an ASPX page that you can modify. That's a very important knowledge to have. So if I edit the page, you can actually add web parts up here too. So you can have multiple web parts in a view also. So if I add a web part here and just take the uh, consultants list there. And of course now I'm showing the same thing twice in the same web page. But if I go in and edit that web page and just switch to the other view, such that per department view, like that. And then I can just remove the toolbar. And under appearance here, I can select that it shouldn't have a Chrome. None. And I apply all that. And let's just see now, a lot of scroll bars all over the place here. So let's stop editing this. And we'll see, there's a lot of those. So there you have the total count. You have the, the whole list down there. So that's one way of doing it also that might satisfy your need. Well, those are not super fantastic, but, but they might solve the problem and we can do it in a couple of minutes. So that's one way of looking at it. Thank you for watching this demonstration.